Okay, so in this lesson, we're going to factor polynomials by first of all finding the GCF. Now, in the previous lesson, um, we learned how to find the GCF of, of uh, several terms. So we're going to use that idea here. So for example, um, you're going to factor, um, let's suppose we had this example. You want to factor um, 30x minus 15. So 30x minus 15. Well, this polynomial has two terms, a 30x and a negative 15. So to find the GCF, just like in the previous section, previous lesson, the uh, GCF of 30 and negative 15 is 15. So it's not 3, it's not 5, it is 15. You must always use the largest GCF. So when you factor, it's always the largest. So the GCF so far is uh, 15. Now let's look at the variables. I have an X here, but I don't have an X here, so I'm not going to need an X. So the only so the GCF is only 15. Now, what you're going to do? Remember when you factor, when you factor, like if I wanted to uh, find a um, find uh, a product that gives me let's say six, I would say three times two. So uh, 3 times 2 is a factored form of 6. So these are your factors. So when, when you, um, these are your factors. Um, so when you find your factors, you rise a product. So GCF is one of my factors. So I'm going to say 15 times. And then remember, um, you're, you want to, whatever goes in here, you want to make sure you get the original back. So if I say a factor of 3 is a factor of 6 is 3, then I can say I gotta say 3 times what is 6. So I would say 3 times 2. So 15 times what is 30x minus 15. Well, also keep in mind that this polynomial has two terms, so you better have two terms inside this parentheses. Alright, and then use the distributive property to help you. So 15 times times uh, 2x 15 times 2x is 30x. So 15 times 2 is 30. 30 times x is 30x. And then 15 times what is a negative 15? Well, 15 times a negative 1 is a negative 15. And there's your answer. So um, I wrote 30x minus 15 as a product of two factors, 15 and 2x minus 1, where this 15 was the GCF. Okay? All right, now if you make a mistake, Let's suppose you make a mistake and you say factor out a 3. You factor out a 3. You would get 3 times, um, 3 times uh, 10, uh, 10x is 30x minus uh, 3 times a negative um, 5. 3 times negative 5 is a negative 15. But the issue is that you see this factor right here? it still has something in common. These two terms still have something in common. It has a 5 in common. So you got to always check your factors, your polynomial, to, to make sure that there's nothing else here that you could take out. So I could take out a 5, and I'm left with 5 times um, 2x. 5 times 2x is 10x, minus 5 times 1 is 5. And then your final answer, don't forget to do this, will be 3 times 5. So it'll be 15 times 2x minus 1. So it's always best at the beginning to factor out the GCF at the beginning. Don't don't just factor out a common factor because sometimes we forget to check this to see if, if there's something else I can I can factor out. Okay, so uh, again when factoring, you always make sure you factor out the GCF and your polynomial, your polynomial, you you can't factor any further. Okay, so this I can factor further, this I cannot. All right, number two. Suppose we had 6y to the fourth plus 2y cubed. 6y to the fourth plus 2y cubed. All right, well, um, again, I have two terms. Look at the, um, the coefficients first. Uh, GCF of 6 and 2 is 2. Now, I also have, in this case, I also have variables in both of those, and they're both y's, so I'm going to need y, at least one factor y, 
In my GCF, the question is how many must I use? Well, I have four factors here. I have three factors here. Remember in the previous lesson, you, you choose the number of factors that has the smallest exponent. So I'm going to factor out the GCF 2i cubed. So now you can do it just like this, just like we did this one right here. So you're going to say the GCF, which is 2i cubed, times whatever I put in here must equal this back. And so that's where you use the distributive property. So using distributive property, 2 times 3 is 6. y cubed times y is y to the fourth. Because when you multiply like bases, remember in last semester, when you multiply like bases, you add exponents. 3 plus 1 is, is 4. So that's a product rule. Remember the product rule from last semester. So y times y cubed times y is y to the fourth. All right, now plus 2y cubed times what is 2y cubed? So don't say it's 0 here because 2y cubed times 0 is 0. You, you want 2y cubed. So the only way you can, you can say 2y cubed times what number is 2y cubed is if that number is 1. And then always look, there's nothing else I can factor out of this polynomial right here. So we're done. There's your answer. Okay, number three. Suppose we had um, 6x cubed minus 9x squared plus 12x. So 6x cubed minus 9x squared plus 12x. All right, so... In this case, I have three terms. Again, look at the coefficients first. The GCF of all these coefficients, uh, 6, negative 9, and 12. And again, um, unless you're otherwise told so, um, make sure your GCF is positive. So 6, negative 9, and 12, the GCF is 3. Now look at the variables. I have x's in every term. I have x in every term, so my GCF is going to have a factor of x. The question is, how many factors of x do I use? Well, I have 3 here, I have 2 here, and I have, remember, there's no, uh, no exponent, so this is to be a 1. So I have 1 here, so it's always the 1 with the smallest exponent. So the GCF is 3x. So, now remember, you're going to factor out the GCF. And you say the GCF times, and since I have three terms here, I'm going to need three terms inside the parentheses. So 3x times what is 6x cubed? Well, it's 2x squared. Always check yourself. 3 times 2 is 6. x times x squared. When you multiply like bases, you add exponents. 1 plus 2 is 3. Minus 3x times what is a negative 9x squared? Well, 3x times a negative 3x is a negative 9x squared. Again, always check yourself. 3 times a negative 3 is a negative 9. x times x is x squared. And then 3x times what is 12x, and so you're going to say plus 4, because 3x times 4 is 12x. And always check here. Always check and see if you can uh, factor out another common factor. And you can. And, uh, the GCF of this this right here, this polynomial is 1. Okay? All right. So that's the answer here. Right, so let's look at uh, number 4. All right. Number 4, you have a to the 7th, b to the 6th, that's a 7, b to the 6th, minus a cubed b squared plus a squared b to the fifth minus a squared b squared. All right, so um, a to the seventh, b to the sixth minus a cubed b squared plus a squared b to the fifth minus a squared b squared. All right, so again, we've got to find the GCF. So I have uh, the coefficients are all ones. Well, negative one, one, negative one, one negative 1. So in terms of the, uh, co the GCF, the coefficients is just a 1. Okay, now there are a's in every 
term. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna need an a, at least one factor of a here, and I gotta determine how many I actually need. I have seven factors of a here, I have three factors of a here, I have two here, and two factors of a here, so I'm gonna need two, smallest exponent. I have b's in every term, so the question is, how many b's will I need in my GCF? Well, I have six here, I have two here, I have five here, and I have two here, so I'm gonna need two. So the GCF, the GCF here is a squared, b squared. So again, just like before, you're gonna rewrite this polynomial as the GCF times and I need some uh, four terms, one, two, three, four. So I need four terms inside this parentheses so that when I distribute this a squared b squared, when I distribute the GCF, I get this back. All right, so a squared times what is a to the seventh? Well, the answer is a to the fifth. Because again, remember, last semester using a product rule, uh, when you multiply like bases, a squared times a to the fifth, when you multiply like bases, you add exponents, so it'll be a to the seventh. b squared times b to the fourth is b to the sixth, because two plus four is six. All right, minus a squared times a is a cubed, because two plus one is three. Now, b squared times one is b squared, but but a times one is is a, so don't don't uh, we prefer? Now right now you can put a one here, but but in your final answer, just remember, um, in your final answer, don't leave the one there because uh, we we need for you to understand that a times one mathematically is just a, so we prefer just a there. And then the same for the same thing here, a squared times one is a squared, b squared times b that's times times b cubed is b to the fifth. Again, um, we just prefer you say b cubed, not one times b cubed or one b cubed. And then minus um, a squared b squared. Um, so you would say a squared times, and you could do this in your head, you know that's gonna be a one right here, but you could say a squared times one is a squared, and then b squared times one is b squared, but we know that, that uh, uh, a negative one times one is a negative one. And so that will be your answer right here. Okay. All right, and then number uh, five, let's look at this example. Suppose we had, um, all right, suppose we had one third x to the fourth plus two thirds x cubed minus four fifths um, x to the fifth plus one third um, x. That's one. That's four thirds right here. Four thirds. All right. Now this is not that that hard. This is pretty easy. What what throws people off is the fact that that these coefficients are fractions. But the, it's not that bad because all of these denominators are the same. If they were not the same, you would you would have to rewrite it so that they have the same LCD. Okay, but but they're all the same, and so so the the um, the GCF. If you look at one third, two thirds, four thirds, and one. So look at the numerator for right now of each one. One, two, uh, negative four, and one. So the GCF of of one, two, negative four, and one is one. So so far my GCF is one in terms of the coefficient. In terms of the variables, oops, I'm sorry, um, and then uh, I need to be a little bit careful what I just said. Um, and then my denominators are all three, so the GCF of all my denominators is three. So the GCF of the coefficients then is one third. Okay, so remember, uh, the best thing to do is, is, is to find the, the GCF of the, um, now that, you only do that since the denominators are the same, the, what I just did. But the GCF of the numerators, uh, 1, 2, negative 4, and 1 is 1. The GCF of the denominators is all the same. The GCF is, is that number, so it's 3. They have variables in every term. Um, this is a 5 right here. 
So 4, 3, 5, and 1, so you would take out the one with the smallest exponent, so you'd factor out 1 third x. So I'm going to get 1 third x, 1 third x times, and then let's see, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, so I'm going to need four terms in here. So 1 third x times what is 1 third x to the fourth? Well, um, you know that 1 third times 1 is 1 third. So x times what is x to the fourth? The answer is x cubed. So that, let's go there. So 1 third x times x cubed is 1 third x to the fourth. All right, now let's think about this one. So 1 third times what is 2 thirds? So that's a question. 1 third times what is 2 thirds? Well, 1 third times 2 is 2 thirds. All right, so remember um, in math 97 when you multiply fractions you can write 2 as 2 over 1 so 1 times 2 is 2 3 times 1 is 3 so 1 third times 2 is 2 thirds so so a 2 goes here so far and then x times what is x cubed so we'll say 2x squared so 1 third x times 2x squared is 2 thirds x cubed. And then the same idea here. So uh, that's going to be minus of subtraction right here. But 1 third times what is 4 thirds? So 1 third times what is 4 thirds? So you would say 4. So 1 third times 4 is 4 thirds. So this is, so right here you're going to say uh, minus 4. And then x times x to the fourth, x times x to the fourth, when you multiply like bases, you add exponents, 4 plus 1 is 5. And then plus 1 third x times what is 1 third x? Well, from previous discussion, we know that that 1 third x times 1 is itself. And so there's your answer. All right. And then, okay. Now let's look at this one. So this is going to be a little bit different, look a little bit different than these. But let's suppose you had this. Suppose you had z times y plus 4 minus 3 times y plus 4. And suppose you had z times y plus 4 minus 3 times y plus 4. So basically, if you, if you look at, at this right here, um, you, you have a, a group of factors here. So if I cover this up right here, you have z times uh, y plus 4. Over here, you have a group of factors, a negative 3 times y plus 4. All right, so you have two groups here. Notice that these two groups, they have a common factor. So if you look at these two groups, the GCF is y plus 4. That's the GCF, y plus 4. Okay, so just like you did here. So you found the GCF of each of these groups. So you had four group terms, so four groups of terms here. All right here you have four groups, uh, two groups rather. Um, this group has two factors and this group has two factors. They both have a y plus 4 in common. Now this idea is going to be important in the next lesson. You're going to see this show up in the next lesson. So um, when we actually factor a polynomial by grouping, um, that's what it's going to eventually look like. And then the next step would be, all right, so since the GCF, I'm going to write this as GCF, since the GCF is y plus 4, y plus 4, I'm going to factor it out. So I'm going to say y plus 4 in parentheses now, you got to use parentheses, times, all right, so if I factor out a y plus 4, in other words, if I, if I cover this up, I'm left with z. And always check yourself, y plus 4 times z is z times y plus 4, minus if I factor out this y plus 4, I'm left with a negative 3. And so there's your answer. So y plus 4 times z minus 3 is this right here. And, and again, if you distribute, you see it works. y plus 4 times z is z y plus 4. y plus 4 times a negative 3 is a negative 3 times y plus 4. Okay, so let's look at this one. Suppose we had um, r times um, z squared minus 6 plus and then z squared minus 6. All right. Okay. Now, again, think of these as, as two groups. You have this group, which, which has the factors r 
and uh, z squared minus 6, and you have this group. Now, I'm going to rewrite this over, but I want you to listen closely. Um, this group here, there's a number right here. There's no if there if you don't see it. Remember, it's understood to be a one. So um, it may help you if you put a one here. And now, if you look at these two groups right here, the GCF of these two groups, they have a z squared minus six. So the GCF is um, z squared minus six. And put that in parentheses. You're gonna factor it out. So we get z squared minus six. So that's your GCF times and so I want to put something in here so that I get this back, uh, uh, the original back. So z squared minus 6, so if I factor out the z squared minus 6, I'm left with r. So z squared minus 6, if you distribute, check yourself. z squared minus 6 times r is r z squared minus 6. Plus, and that's where this can be important, this number right here. Plus, if I factor out a z squared minus 6, I'm left with 1. So uh, z squared minus 6 times 1 is z squared minus 6. And so now I, I put the parentheses way out here, so I'm going to re, redo this. So the answer is going to be z squared minus 6 times r plus 1. All right, so don't, don't put the, the closing parentheses all the way out here. There's too much space in here. And so there's your answer. Okay, so that takes care of this lesson where, where we were looking at factoring um, polynomials by, by factoring out G, to the GCF. Right, now, it's going to be important, being able to factor out the GCF is going to be important um, as we go through this chapter. So GCF, 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 and so on. Okay, GCF, 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 and GCF. Okay? All right, so the next lesson is going to involve this idea again, before, before I end this, is going to involve um, something that's going to look like this. So you're going to notice this in the next lesson. And this whole idea is going to be called factor by grouping. Remember, I use the word group. So groups here. Okay?